Da, 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 Mr. K Online. <laughs> Hi guys, and welcome to When to Use a Capital Letter. Today, you are going to learn when to use capital letters in writing your English. Okay, so let's get things underway. Okay, so what is a capital letter? Well, an upper, uh, capital letter is an uppercase letter. And I've got some examples here for you. Capital D, I've got uppercase K, uppercase F, or capital F. So that's what a capital letter is. Now, there are five different times that we would use a capital letter in English. And here they are. Let's start with number one. The first time that you'd use a capital letter would be using it at the start of a proper noun. Now, a proper noun is a name of a person, place, uh, pet, or thing. So, let's get some examples up on the board. Here we go. So, example number one is Urkel. Urkel, my pet chicken, my pet blue chicken that squawks like a duck. But anyway, we'll talk about that in a second. Um, so, Urkel is the name of some something or a pet in this case, and it has to start with a capital. Another one, Australia, a place, starts with a capital A. Um, Statue of Liberty, it's a thing in the United States um, and it's a name of something. So it's the Statue of Liberty, okay? Starts with a capital. And the name of my dog, Rover, starts with a capital. And name of a company, Apple Computer. Okay, let's keep going. The second time we would use a capital at the beginning of a... would be at the beginning of a sentence. So let's get some examples up on the board. The first one. The chicken squawks like a wounded duck. <laughs> got you back, Urkel. <laughs> anyway, um, I got Urkel also to write one as well. But as you can see, that sentence starts with a capital with a capital T for the. Okay. Next sentence from Urkel. The stinky old human, ugly human, talks too much. I, I guess I should have expected that. So as you can notice here, or you can see, uh, the, which is the first word in the sentence, starts with a capital. So we always start sentences with capital letters. The third time when we would use a capital would be for the, at, in titles of books, films, or organizations, okay? Um, and they're always for the main words in the titles, okay? So, but not for Connecting words such as a, uh, as. Okay, let's have a quick look. So here's a couple of examples. We've got Star Wars. Okay, so that's the title of a book, but also a movie. And both words in that title start with a capital. Then we've got Pride and Prejudice. It's the name of a book. Both words, well, main words, Pride. Prejudice, both start with capitals, but the joining word, or the connecting word, which is and, doesn't. Mm, interesting. And our last example is the Museum of Art. So museum, main word, art is a main word. They both start with a capital, but the connecting word of doesn't start with a capital. Awesome. Let's keep going. Okay, the fourth time we would use a capital letter is for abbreviations and acronyms. For example, let's have a look at our first one. NASA, North American Space Agency. Uh, I believe that's what it stands for, but Aeronautics Space Agency, maybe? I can't remember. But it's a shortened or abbreviation of a longer title. And all the letters in there would be capitals. Another one, ANZAC, Australian New Zealand Army Corps. So that is an abbreviation as well, and they're all capitals. And GMT, which is Green Greenwich Time, uh, Green Greenwich Mean Time. So, gee, am I going to get this right? Um, and that's another abbreviation. So they all start with capitals, or they're all capitals. Okay, and the next one, the fifth time you would use a capital is for when something's been shouted like, STOP! Okay, that's an example. Oh, let's get another one up on the uh, board. Oh, I've got a couple. Okay, Urkel screamed, Bark! Okay, he screamed it. He said it really loud. Stop is there, is the example I gave before. And another example could be, WARNING! I'm gonna get, or to get your attention. Yeah, so that's another time we would use capitals. 
Excellent. So, in summary, we use capitals for pronouns or names of people, places, uh, things. Um, also, we use it at the start of sentences. We also use capitals in the titles of books and organisations, but remember that's the only the main words in the titles uh, that we actually put a capital at the beginning of. Connecting words, we don't put capitals uh, at the start of. And also for abbreviations and acronyms. And finally, when someone's shouting something or we want to emphasise something, we put it in capitals. Excellent. Awesome. I hope this has been helpful for you today. Have a great day and good luck with putting capitals in your writing. Thanks for watching one of my videos. If you've enjoyed the content or you just want to show your support, please just click the subscribe button down below. You hitting the subscribe button lets me know that you'd like to see more content from me. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Subscribe.